Yo guys, it's your boy, Call of Duty Fries here, and today for you guys, I got a gameplay breakdown. So this is basically what goes through my head while I'm playing. Ready up, basically, I focus on the negative and things that I mess up on and want to improve. I still don't know the map's great, so part of that's going to be it. Part of it's going to be sucking, but uh, here we go. So lately I've been trying to use the exosuit better. Um, I found a lot of times before that like second or whatever it takes to turn the exosuit on, I kept dying, so I'm working on that. We've taken the lead. Okay, that was pretty good. One big thing on this game that I've been struggling with is you have to aim in before you shoot. It just gives you a huge advantage. In past Call of Duties, it was better to shoot before you were fully aimed in. And this one it's way better to fully aim in. See how fast that guy died well, as soon as I aimed in? Because I finally got my shots on him. Okay, this part, pretty good. I'm staying around the edges of the map, which is where I like to play most of my game. I was going to say, I could die from behind there, which I, as you just saw, I did. I actually died from across the map. So that was me actually not knowing the map. I didn't know from the right side there that they could see straight through. So that was kind of just inexperience on the map there that cost me. As you see there, I try to jump through the top window, which there is no window. Okay, again, I should not have been standing in that window because there was access to the left window, which caused me. So that was just kind of stupidity because obviously I saw the window there, so that was a bad play on my part. Okay, so there I've been working on when guys pop up behind me or real close and I'm not sure where they at. I try to always shoot backwards or sideways to kind of throw them off and hopefully get them in my vision. That was alright there. Because I was able to get out of the way and see the guy stayed on the roof, so that wasn't too bad. This room in this corner seems to be pretty money because a ton of guys try to come in here. So especially when you have teammates around, you can kind of tell the direction where they're coming. I see my teammates shooting on the bottom. So I know they're likely not coming through that door this second. And even if they do, the chance of them looking right in this corner aren't great. Okay, I actually played that pretty good. I found that following people has been really bad. So if I miss shots, and especially if I would have exited there, it would have put me in the open. That would have been really bad to do. So by missing shots and actually retreating out the other way, it ended up working out very well. Okay, again, I hit the guy. I see two guys up top, but when there's three dudes there, I kind of don't want to be in that direction. So then I sneak to the corner to kind of limit my view. So if I can see guys down below, I have a good shot. Because I've had a lot of success in the stream, so I'm going to kind of keep going to it. Is online. Definitely a little bit of camping going on. I actually found this game that, since it is so big, that camping actually kind of does benefit you pretty decently. I try not to do it a lot, because it's obviously boring to play and it takes very little skill. And then here we get the cheater UAV. This thing is pretty ridiculous and they light up all the red. Enemy UAV online. Friendly Warbird in the air. Warbird support requested. That was pretty good. See, I got the zoom in before I started shooting. I think. Okay, that guy was just camping in the corner. That's something I definitely need to work on is checking corners. Part of that's knowing the map. Part of it is just expecting that there's going to be people camping. I think part of the thing on this game too that's so hard about campers is you're moving so fast that when there is a camper kind of throws you off because you're looking for the quick movement happening. There I should have aimed in a little longer before trying to shoot. It ended up working out alright but as you see I had to kind of re-aim there which took longer than it should have. That kind of, that exosuit, the way I used it there was not good because I was in open, so if a guy would have popped up, I would have been in trouble. We're winning this fight. At this point, I'm running low on ammo, so I pick up the other gun. 
And since I am low on ammo, I kind of want a gun that I can reload and use. This way I kind of follow my teammate's lead. I see if he drops. Usually submachine guns I've been struggling with because I can't hit the far away shots, but that worked out very well right there. Again, as you notice, most of my plays are the corners of the map. I'll go in that one room when I kind of see there's like an opening to get into it because I know a lot of people go through that room. But other than that, I try to stand around the outskirts of the map. Just trying to limit uh, the ways people can come from. There, I should have slid in the opening. If you can minimize your t time in the openings, it's definitely going to help you a lot. I think a lot of times you die is when you're like, say out here, you, people can shoot you from like five different directions. So as you see, I kind of was aiming left there and the guy popped in the middle. That was kind of a bad spot to be on the map because there were so many areas I could have died from. So I should have been hugging a wall or something more there to kind of limit the areas that I could have been seen from. Again there, I should have aimed in a little better. It's like, that was actually good, even though I didn't kill the guy. I got the aim in and I hit all my shots. You want to be hitting all your shots in this game. Obviously, sometimes if they jump out of your way, you might not. That was actually pretty good there, see? I had no idea where the guy was shooting me from, so I jumped back and I tried to get him in my view. And that time, it ended up working out for me. Even if I died there, it still would have been a pretty good move, because I was able to get him into my view, so that's definitely ideal in those situations. I see the guys on the roof. This actually kind of messed up on. Luckily, I'm on the outskirts, so following here is not too bad. But if you ever have to follow guys to the middle of the map, don't do it. I found I die a ton like that. Because it seems like in this game, a lot of teams well travel done, in packs. And as these guys see here, we get a huge victory 100 to 36. And I'll show you my teammates' scores at the end. It's pretty insane. Oh, look, Mavs and Ivy. So I got a four star here for the game winning kill. It's, it's awesome. Alright, so the first two is plus 15, next guy is plus 14, plus 11, plus 14, plus 14. It's freaking crazy. I've never had a team with everyone got such consistently high scores, and I got a KDF 4. So it's a pretty solid game all over, but as you see, there's definitely some areas I messed up on. So when I play, that's kind of what goes through my head. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this breakdown. I can give you more, I'll definitely have more of these in the future. Some better gameplay, some worse gameplay, so you guys can kind of reference point. Uh, thanks for watching as always. If you liked it, subscribe. If you hated it, definitely subscribe.